Hello my dear students how are you in today's part of this lecture of pleading drafting and conveyance in which we were covering the part conveyance we were going to deal with the topic of deed for reference to arbitration deed for reference to deed of reference to arbitration is the deed which is prepared by the two parties between the two parties in which they agree to refer the matter to the arbitration arbitration apart from the court so this is a alternate dispute resolution mechanism where parties can choose their arbitrator who is unbiased and act according to arbitration and conciliation act 1996 to resolve their matter so that deed how that deed is to be prepared we are going to deal with that part so firstly in this we are going to deal with the meaning of arbitration for this part of is important for the short answer type question and may also ask in long answers including the model draft of this deed let's start meaning of arbitration under the meaning of arbitration first it is a form of alternate dispute resolution that is adr it is a form of alternate dispute resolution mechanism for resolution of dispute outside the court so this mechanism is for resolution of dispute between the parties outside the court in the in, in this the in the parties need not to go to the court for their dispute resolution for this the provision is also provided section 89 of civil procedure code 1908 says when court observe that there exist element of settlement between parties jab court ko aisa lagta hai that there is the element of settlement between the parties the parties can settle their matter the court may refer the matter to arbitration conciliation mediation lok adalats other way for the resolution of matter these are the resolution of Uh, method uh, resolution method provided under section 89 of cpc 1908 where the court may refer the matter if the court find that there is the element of settlement between the parties the arbitration proceedings deal with provision of arbitration and conciliation act 1996 the bear act of this arbitration and conciliation act is given in the description of this video the link of that bear act is given under this and also the uh, link for section 89 of cpc is also provided in the description of this video next other points that is meaning under the meaning of arbitration other points are the judge in arbitration proceedings the judge in arbitration proceedings are called arbitrators or arbiters under this the judge are called arbitrators and arbiters under the arbitration proceedings the case in this is referred to arbitral arbitral tribunal tribunal so in the normal circumstances the case is referred to the court of correct jurisdiction and under this the case is referred to arbitral tribunal the decision under this is called award the decision under this is called award jo decision aata hai usko uh, in the in the normal courts it is called the uh, decision the judgment the decree and under this it is called award award given by the, the uh, arbitration award or award and this is applicable to the parties only these are some some points for the arbitration you can find the deep study of the arbitration in the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 the link of that peer act is given under the description of this video so in the next before uh, res uh, resuming for the next point 
I want to appeal to all the viewers and the students to please like, share and subscribe my video so that you can get the new videos and update from mine and this video is reach to all the needful students who is who, who are preparing for university examination so next let's start next we are going to deal with and the next topic is advantages of arbitration so we are going to see some points regarding the advantages of arbitration why a party can opt for arbitration due to its advantages and those advantages are unlike other litigation the arbitration allows the parties to choose their own tribunal or arbitrators under the normal litigation the party is not allowed to choose their judges but in the arbitration the parties are allowed to choose the arbitral tribunal or arbitrators next arbitration is often faster than litigation arbitration arbitration is focusing on a single case and litigation is focusing on a lot of all the other cases there are a lot of pending cases in the courts throughout india so the arbitration proceedings are faster than litigation because they have their own rules and proceeding to follow next third is arbitral award arbitral award which i talked earlier arbitral award the decision given by the arbitration uh, arbitral tribunal is under arbitration is confidential here arbitral award is confidential and applicable to the parties only it is confidential in nature and applicable to the parties only this is the third advantage advantage fourth is in arbitration unlike normal litigation in arbitration unlike normal litigation the parties can decide their own language which is not in the litigation so unlike normal litigation the parties can decide their own language of proceeding own language of dealing with the other party under arbitration next the last point of advantage is unlike litigation the arbitration is more easier to enforce normal litigation say the arbitration is more easier to enforce because litigation have the in in under litigation they have very complicated type of proceedings ye bhi karna hai wo bhi karna hai itne ye document jama karne hai and on all the other complicated proceedings but in arbitration it is not so complicated because it is decided between the parties only and deal with the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 only in the next part next we are going to deal with the requirements of the model draft of deed of reference to arbitration the important point of that so under the model draft of deed of reference to arbitration the main essential requirements to write that draft are first in the upper side the date of the deed is to be mentioned this arbitration deed or is on is made, this arbitration deed on the flana the on that date and then to the deed so that deed it, it means it starts with that the deed of arbitration is made on that uh, any date that is any date made on this uh 27th january 2017 or comma laga ke and then uske baad then parties full description begin with between full description of the parties so this deed of arbitration on this date comma between niche parties ka naam with full description 1 2 3 4 full with full description then next is the facts of the case नेक्स्ट उसके बाद फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस लिखे जाते हैं आफ्टर द नेम ऑफ द पार्टीज फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस व्हाट इज व्हाट वाज द केस बिटवीन द पार्टीज व्हाट वाज द डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द पार्टीज इन द पैराग्राफ वाइज देन फोर्थ इज नेम ऑफ द आर्बिट्रेटर हु इज द आर्बिट्रेटर द फुल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट आर्बिट्रेटर इट मे बी द रिटायर्ड जज इट इट मे बी एनी अदर पर्सन द क्वालिफाइड पर्सन द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट आर्बिट्रेटर इज गिवन अंडर द आर्बिट्रेशन कंसोलेशन एक्ट 1996 you can refer that 
from the uh, description of this video name of the arbitrators then next is rules of condition of arbitration rules of condition of arbitration so what are the rules or condition of arbitration if any rules and conditions which are made between the parties that these these rules which are required to be followed uh, with the arbitration proceedings all the rules and conditions must be laid down though uh, which may include the language of the arbitration and other things and the last on in the below on the left side the signature of witnesses with their name and address must be mentioned the two witnesses are required so the signature of the witnesses with name and the address and the last is signature of all the parties on the right side of that deed so this is this this, this is the essential requirement of the deed the model draft main model draft of the deed under the book referred in the description the page number of that uh, deed is mentioned in the description itself so you can refer the main model draft of the deed and you can or you should also remember the essential requirements so that you didn't miss any point while drafting the model draft of this while drafting the model draft of this deed in the examination as i earlier told you this part of uh, the deed this part of the conveyance is important for small type of questions and the long answer type questions also with the model draft in the university exam in the end i want to appeal to the all the viewers and the student to kindly like share and subscribe if you like this video so subscribe to my subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get the new update and the video is reach to the other students also who are required to prepare for their university examination thank you